Hi Rose developers and welcome to this new video Q&A series. In this video I'm going to try to answer this user's question, this question posted by Kumbakri, um, states basically that how, how can this user use joint, uh, a planner joint? So basically there's not a lot of documentation on the topic and I've come up with two possible solutions. I'll, I'll show both of them and you can decide which one you prefer. Uh, yeah, that's it. So before we start, if, if you want to learn anything about ROS, the Construct YouTube channel is your channel. You can learn many subjects related to ROS like navigation, autonomous cars, AI, loads of topics. So please check it out. And if you have any question on the topics or the things that I explain in this video, please consider going to Robot Ignite Academy where there are courses on loads of topics related to ROS and you don't need to install anything. So please check it out. And without further ado, let's get started. So basically this user what this user states is that how can I make something that moves in a plane? Okay, so let's work on that. So let's just close this. All the, all the code that I generate in this video, you'll find it here in this git. I'll post it in the description below, so don't worry. So I've launched it uh, in ROS Development Studio, which is an online um, ROS development platform. And basically, I've generated the following. Let me. So. I've copied the package in, um, in the simulation workspace. And this package, I've done two solutions. The first one is with URDFs, and the second one is with a custom plugin that allows to move a model in a plane. So both of them are good solutions, uh, and we'll see which one performs better. So the first, let me just let me just show you. So the first solution is this one, which is basically using, generating a URDF robot that can move something in the plane. So there you have it. By, for demonstration purposes, I've made this models uh, visual so that you can see them but in practice you would make them uh, invisible so that no one could see them and by changing the transparency for example it's a good option and basically are two links that have prismatic joints in different axes so if you go to in the code um, in URDF folder, I've generated this URDF, and essentially what we have is one link called X axis link, which is connected to the world to make it static or like linked to the world. And then we have another one which is linked to the X axis element and they use prismatic joints and the x-axis joint moves in the x direction and the y moves in the y direction so no mystery here and then i put some transmissions i do the control and so on we won't talk about this uh, here but basically this is what i did and it's quite tricky because I'm going to show you right now. So if we do um, 
Rossman, Harky Tigui. And we open the graphical tools interface. Okay, let me put it let me put it here so we can see it bigger. Okay, topics, message publisher. And we publish in the different uh, link, which one? Link controllers. So this one, and the other one is this one. Okay. Now we, for example, put a sine wave. I divided by a hundred. And sine one divided by a hundred. Okay. So if we move, for example, if we activate this one, the x axis, we move now in the x axis. Yeah. So it's moving the prismatic joint of the red element that you see there. Okay. Then if we want to move the y-axis we just have to activate it and there we go so now we are moving in the y and x-axis and the blue element which would be the element that you want to move in the plane it's moving effectively in the plane so this has some advantages some disadvantages the ad main advantage is that you have at your disposal all the control systems to do this so you can make it move uh, better you can use PIDs and so on the only problem is that prismatic joints don't behave very well in uh, gazebo and as you can see in theory the green element should be all the time over the red one because it's stated like this in the URDF so if you go to the URDF you see that effectively this link, the y, it's, it should be over the x element and it isn't. It was at the start but not anymore. That is an issue that I've detected in the prismatic joints that when you go very far away it tends to bend and I don't know exactly why it happens so if you do know please leave it in the comments below because this is a like a good solution for something basic yeah so this is one method that I I'll, I'll post the code as, as I said and the explanations in the in the answer but basically this is the solution the first solution the second one let me stop this the second one is the following so let's launch this kinetic version 2. So the second one, as I told you, is based on generating a plugin that moves a model. So if you want to move a model in the plane, this is another option. So for this, I generated this planner movement CPP file, you can see, which essentially is um, it's a it's a model plugin therefore when you go to the world and you put let's say my box I want to move this box which you see this box here is my model but it could be any model that is touching the ground yeah so you want to move it in the plane so the only thing that you have to do is that the friction with the with the ground is zero or you've um, it has wheels or something that makes allows it to move on top of the uh, of, of the plane otherwise it will have friction problems we'll do it at the end to show you what it happens but essentially you have to get a model and at the end put this plugin 
that we've generated. Yeah. If you want to know how a plugin like this is made, where we made a video like two, two videos or, or two weeks ago, I think so that we explained this in more detail. So go there. And essentially this, this plugin, what it does is that when you publish inside the command valve topic, it has a subscriber that triggers this callback on message position. And this one gets this twist message and sends it to this function that is move models in the plane. And what it does is sets the velocity in X, Y, and Z and the angular velocity. So you have control over all the velocities in space, but we are only going to use it for the plane. But you could, uh, in theory, move around the box in three dimensional space like it, it could float around okay and you could turn it upside down in any of the roll pitch and yaw axis so perfect and the only thing is that it has to have zero friction with the floor if if you want it to move on the floor okay so how does this work so basically we now let, let me put it like this so you have to install the teleop twist keyboard package you can install it anywhere or in this case here in ross development studio you have it already installed and then we move it around so we press the keys, it moves around, it rotates. And also if you hit shift, you can do holonomic movements. So basically you have control over any direction you want it to move without any problem whatsoever. So this, in my opinion, is a better solution a more elegant solution for this and it gives less problems basically because you don't have to spawn a model make control anything you just have to move the the model that you want to move in space so in this case it would be much much simpler so that's got it uh, please Hit that like button if you like this video and please consider subscribing because we publish videos every day about ROS related topic so please please consider subscribing and yeah that's quite it so if you have any questions post it in the comments below and see you in the next video yeah.